Hey YouTube, this is Dr. Jailbreak with another edition of iOS Inside Track, and today I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2 using the latest version of Red Snow. And I'm going to show you how to downgrade from 5.1.1 to 5.0.1. What's nice about this is you don't need to use iTunes at all. Red Snow bypasses the whole thing. You're going to need a few things though. One you're going to need the newest version of Red Snow. You're also going to need your SHSH blobs saved. So if you've ever jailbroken your iPhone 4S or iPad 2 and have opened Cydia, Cydia should have your blobs saved. Or you could have used Tiny Umbrella and saved them locally to your computer. So I have them saved locally, but I'll show you guys how to get them from Cydia's server here in a second. You're also going to need firmware 5.1.1 saved to your computer and 5.0.1. I'll have links for all of that in the video description for Red Snow and for the firmwares. So once you have all of that, you're going to want to plug in your device and open up Red Snow. Then you're going to click Extras, Even More, and then click Restore then you're going to click on IPSW and it's going to ask for the firmware you want to downgrade to so I'm going to locate my 5.0.1 click open then it's going to tell me that I need the 5.1.1 as well so I'm going to click that open and this tells you right here that if you're an unlocker you shouldn't do this because you'll probably lose the ability to unlock until you know possibly a future update I'm on sprint so I don't really you know need to worry about that so I'm going to click yes then I'm going to click local now if you want to get them off of Cydia just click remote and Red Snow will kick your device into recovery mode and fetch the files for you so again like I said I have them locally so I'm going to go here and point Red Snow to the 5.0.1 blobs, click open, and then it's going to start doing the restore process. So just sit back and relax. It sometimes takes a little while. Also, sometimes if you, you'll you receive an error, simply just start the process over again. It's kind of annoying. Um, this is my third time doing this. So um, I have successfully done this before, so don't worry. But um, just in case you get an error, simply just start the whole process over again. And I also wanted to go ahead and let you guys know that the untethered 5.1.1 jailbreak will be coming out within the next few days. So stay tuned for that. I will be having video for that as well. And apparently that's going to work for the iPad 3 or 3rd gen, iPad 2, iPhone 4S and so on so kind of pretty stoked about that now mm -hmm. your phone or iPad should reboot one more time and it should mm -hmm. show the iTunes uh, restore logo and then it should reboot one more time mm -hmm. and once it has finished this will pop up saying that the device was successfully downgraded so now if you guys want to jailbreak it, as you guys, uh, as it says right here, uh, you can just, once the device is activated and you've set it up, just like you, when you first bought it, you'll be able to jailbreak it using mm -hmm. this, so you don't even have to do anything else really. So just click OK, then just go back. And as you guys can see down here, it now shows the iPhone 4S 5.0.1. And then once you're device has fully been activated and set up, click on jailbreak and then it'll tell you here and on your device it'll pop up saying jailbreak unsigned, click install then unsigned profile, click install now then there's no password so click next and then done and then go back all the way to the first settings page and turn on VPN which is right below the Wi-Fi settings and once you turn on VPN, it should start to prepare for the jailbreak. 
and once it has finished it will say jailbreak was successfully installed and it says you may safely ignore any VPN error messages so click OK and your device should respring or reboot rather and once the device has finished rebooting you should see Cydia and you can open it up and you are now successfully back to iOS 5.0.1 and jailbroken which this jailbreak is untethered so that's it please rate comment subscribe follow me on Twitter and like I said previously in the video I stay tuned for my 5.1.1 untethered jailbreak as soon as it is released so until next time guys cheers